in my last review I tested two budget Wi-Fi 6 routers to see whether it was worth it upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 based on price. Now those two routers were around the £50 and the £85 mark. This has come on sale now for £100, so I thought I'd buy this, we'll unbox it, look at the specs, I'm going to test it. At the end I'll give you an idea of whether or not it's worth the £100 price tag. Now let's get on with the review. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future content. Now let's jump into the unboxing. So here we've got the AX3000 TP-Link dual band gigabit Wi-Fi router Archer AX50. Next gen Wi-Fi for more devices. There's the cable and fibre connections, next gen gigabit Wi-Fi speeds, connect to more devices, Intel, maximum coverage, beam forming. What does that mean? In the rear of the box, you can see it's three times faster. This is the Wi Fi standard, not the router itself. 75% lower latency, saves once battery power for increased capacity. Powerful CPU, this is the router itself. Boosted coverage, we'll see about that. Smart Connect, Smart Connect Util uh, unites 2.4 and 5G bands a single Wi Fi SSID. And helps through automatically switch between each device connection for the best available Wi Fi band. Now, that's a good thing and a bad thing because if you've got devices which can only work on 2.4 gigahertz, I've got some smart plugs that do that. It may be a bit of a problem, but I'll see if I can sort it out in the um, settings on the gigabit ports. Four gigabit ports, one internet port, and USB 3.0 ports. Excellent. I'd like to see USB 3.0 ports add some network attacks for storage. Dual core CPU delivers consistent power and signal strength. Um, that is good. This router has got some good reviews. TP Link Home Care, which has three dice and it's just powerful security, built in antivirus, for cutting edge intrusion protection, comprehensive, creating a highly protected smart home environment. Very nice. And then the rest of the box is just the standard stuff saying easy setup and use, package contents, which is the router itself, power adapter, RJ45 cable, and quick installation guide. So let's get this open and have a look inside. Nice box. Let's crack it open. Crack on. Excellent. Cardboard. Don't like plastic. Cardboard's good. So we have the literature. The quick installation guide. Basically, plug it in, set up the network, the TP Link app, Tether it's called. Let's have a look in a minute and you can connect by normal methods. Info card. And then something else. Something else. A bit of plastic. Power brick. UK plug. Underneath we have the Ethernet cable. And then we have the router itself. They've packaged this well. So first thing you notice is it's wall mountable, which is good. Excellent, that's what you like to see. Four antennas, it's a nice unit actually. Feels a lot more premium than I thought it was going to be. Should we do this? In the camera. How very satisfying. And all of these are into all of the antennas are individually wrapped. Four down. So on the for top of the unit, we've got Intel Innovation, we've got a TP Link logo as well. The back of the unit, one port, we've got four gigabit Ethernet ports, we've got USB 
support for kinetic storage. We've got WPS button, we have a reset, which is indented, and then we have an LED. Nice to see, you can turn the LEDs off. And a separate power button, which is great to see. Very nice. On the front of the unit, you have the indicator LEDs, which presumably will flash up when you're in use. Aside from that, nice looking router. So there's a companion app as well. This is the TP Link Tether app. If you go onto the Play Store or the App Store, you'll be able to find it. Click Open. Now, mine automatically found this once I was plugged it in and you've connected to the Wi Fi. So that's good in that respect, easy to use. If you click on to the router, it will log you into the AX50. And here you can see I've already set these up with one password, but it gives you 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz bands. You have a guest network. You can see all of your devices on each of the networks that you're running. So look at the home care, it gives you parental controls, antivirus and QoS. Clients, you can see who's on the network or what's on the network. And then in terms of tools, you can do most things from here. A uh, quick setup will just give you a guided setup, wireless, guest network, network diagnostics. You can share the Wi-Fi code, some TP-Link ID, LED controls. You can turn the LED controls on and off. You can also have a night mode as well if you want to go into that much detail. And, yeah, it's a nice bit of control. Give you status as well, your IP address, etc. Very good. So I did some download tests on this router, the blue bar being next to the router and the green bar being furthest away in the house, typical three bed semi. The green bar is two walls and a ceiling away from the router. The other two are in different rooms within the house, moving further away. But as you can see, it offers good signal for both Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6 devices, much better so than the Honor 3 and indeed the Linksys MR350. And if you want to check out a review of both of those routers, you can do in the card on the top of the screen now. But yeah, I mean, overall, in terms of range and signal strength, the TP-Link performs really, really well. So if you go to 1.92.168.0.1, you will get access to the management of this router, the Archer X50. You can see from here, this will bring you into this loading screen and you can see the wired clients and the wireless clients, the USB disk in front of you. You can also see the internet status. If you go into advanced, it offers even more features, It'll give you more detailed on uh, reports of the actual router itself. Going down the side, you have network, select things like internet, LAN, IPTV, static routing, operation mode, you can change this to an access point if you wanted to add another router on, for example to increase the range, so effectively it's a mesh router as well. You can change the wireless settings, WPS and the wireless schedule, create a guest network, USB sharing, USB storage device, you can manage the USB device from here. You can have parental controls, so if you wanted to, for example, add devices onto there and then set particular rules, you can do. QoS, security, it has some inbuilt security as well by Trend Micro, antivirus, firewall, access control, NAT forwarding, IPv6, VPN server management, smart life assistance, so you can pair this with Alexa. And some system tools, for example, you can control the LEDs and turn them off and on, or set a specific time if you wanted to go into that much detail. Then you can traffic monitor and administration system log, system promises, that sort of thing. And then basic is just a shortened version of that with home care, antivirus, etc. All on here. Very good, very nice, very neat. So in conclusion then, I really like this product. I like the design, I like the four antennas on the back, it gives it a good reach and good coverage within my house. I like the USB 3.0 port, it's really good to add some additional storage onto your network with ease. The app is really user friendly, which is a differentiator. A lot of these routers will offer the same sorts of specifications, but if it's really easy to use via an app, then that's all good.
The web interface is really good as well, which offers some more advanced features if that's your thing. The only drawbacks to the design would be the fact it picks up fingerprints like nobody's business and it was really difficult to film, but that's a problem specific to me. Overall, I can definitely recommend this product for the price point. It's a really good upgrade to Wi-Fi 6 and a route into that if you're looking to upgrade your router in your home. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon for another review.